Alright people, welcome back to another custom zombies video today on um, Black Ops 1 and today we're playing a map called the Backrooms Cube, but for some reason it's called Small here. This is the second new map that has come out this week for Black Ops 1, so that is always amazing news. Now I tried recording this two days ago, but it crashed on me, but there was a fix it said for co-op that fixed the power, like crashing the game. I think that's what my issue was, so I installed that fix and hopefully the game actually works now and it doesn't crash, so... This is going to be Backrooms Q, but before we get started, if you guys could please leave a like and subscribe. We are almost to 3,500 subscribers here, so I cannot thank you guys enough for all the insane support on the channel. But anyway, I'm not going to waste any more of anyone's time. Let's just uh, get started here. Now, if you guys did not know, also, I think tomorrow is the start of the Modern Warfare 3 campaign early access. You know what? Leave it down in the comments. Are you guys getting Modern Warfare 3? Or are you not getting Modern Warfare 3? Okay, also, is this the 90 field of view? It is not. Yeah, so I played this before, and it crashed on me, which is very unfortunate. So, yeah, that is a thing. Also, it spawned us with a different pistol as well, so I guess there's random uh, weapon spawns when you spawn any time. By the way, I need to let you guys know I am extremely, extremely stoned right now. I just smoked a joint, and it was pretty damn potent, so I am, I am all good right now, dude. That's all I'm gonna say. I am all good. Okay, we're playing as Rick Toffin, so that is just not epic whatsoever. Alright, revive, or up in atoms. I like the, um, Infinite Warfare HUD, dude. Infinite Warfare as a game is just so underrated. People shit on it immediately, because it was the third jetpack game. Little did they know that Spaceland Zombies was better than the entire DLC season of, uh, Black Ops 3. Just saying, in my own opinion. Because, like, the alien boss fight and, like, the, like, super easter egg in that game is just insane, man. People, like, hate on Infinite Warfare too much, but, like, the zombies is pretty damn good. Anyway, I'm going on a tangent here. We have the Pack-a-Punch machine as well from the game. Now, it's so weird. Like, everything else in Infinite Warfare Zombies is, like, named something else. Like, Upton Adams is, like, Quick Revives. But this is actually, like, Pack-a-Punch. Like, they refer to this as Pack-a-Punch in Infinite Warfare, which is so weird because, you know, it's a Treyarch name, but they still called it the same name, if you get what I mean. I know some people are probably like, what the fuck is this guy talking about, dude? This guy's just too fucking high right now. And you would be correct. You would be 110% correct. Oh my god, move, dude. Alright, the Insta-Kill logo is a bit over the Quick Revive logo. It's a bit weird. Now, I don't know what round I got to last time. I think I got to, like, round 5 or 6 last time I recorded this. But I forget which door had the freaking power behind it. Because there's four doors here, right? And one of them has the power behind it. And I don't know where... Okay, so we got the box. You know what? Let's just hit this one with the box. The, uh, weapon wheel. Okay, from Moss, I will definitely be taking this. The Black Ops 3 version. See, dude, it's so weird. In Black Ops 1, like, the BO3 guns, like, aren't that different from BO3, just besides from, like, obviously the graphics. But, like, main functionality-wise, it's pretty damn good. Alright, this thing takes forever to reload without speed call. Oh, holy shit, dude. Jesus. Oh, uh, what the hell was that? Oh, yeah, I forgot there's napalms on this fucking map, dude. This is AIDS. This map is so... This map is so claustrophobic. I love claustrophobic maps, but, like... This is... See, look at that, dude. What the hell was that shit? Man literally just gave me COVID-19 too, dude. Jesus Christ. Alright, well, now I gotta buy another quick revive. Or up an atoms, whatever the hell you want to call it. Well, Richtofen, you screaming in my ear isn't fun either, so who's really winning here? Absolutely nobody. Alright, zombie, please back away. Alright, double points. Three grand. Richtofen, please, dude. Where the hell is power at, dude? Can we open up that one over here? I'm gonna open up the same side. Just because, dude. Alright, four grand. Open this, change shoes, slappy taffy. Oh, wait, no, I remember where the hell the power was. It was in the ceiling, dude. That, like, freaked me out. All right. It's in the ceiling, like, right here, right? No, it's somewhere. It's under one of these things. That freaked me out when I found it, dude. It was in the fucking ceiling. Is it here? Oh, no, it's an end game. What the hell? I didn't find that before. So, yeah, there is a end game, apparently. What the hell is that? A freaking control panel? Okay, 50 grand, though. That's actually insane for a small map like this. God damn, change shoes. Wait a minute. Is power already on? What? Last time I had to, like, flip a power switch. What the hell? Hold on a minute, dude. 
something is something's like freaking me out now because like unless he patched the map to not have a power switch because i swear last time i attempted this there was a power switch on here but whatever i'm not complaining i'm just bamboozled or i'm just too fucking high i don't know it could be one of the fucking five options oh and there's a freaking panzer okay hiroshima please dude get the hell away from me get the hell away from me die holy shit man has like no health though so that is epic as fuck all right eight grand okay tough enough still got you there oh my god dude what the hell's going on all right let's get this or jug slappy taffy why dude why do you have to be a thing wait isn't it like really good though because it has like the effect we're gonna hit multiple zombies at once that's the one thing I don't like about Treyarch melee weapons either. It's like, only a couple of them, like, hit multiple zombies at once. In Infinite Warfare, if you got the axe, that shit would, like, mow down a whole horde in, like, two or three swings. Actually insane, dude. Now, where the hell is, uh, Spicola at? That's the real, real predicament I have here. You know, also, going back to the uh, Modern Warfare 3 topic, I know it's coming out soon, but, like, I still haven't pre-ordered it. Like, normally I would pre-order a Zombies game, like, just a month or two before. But I'm not even excited for the Zombies mode, dude. I'm not even excited for this mode. Leave it down in the comments as well. Are you guys excited for MW3 Zombies? I'm gonna, I'm gonna just take a shot in the dark and say people are not excited for it. Because, well, it, it just doesn't look like Zombies. It just looks like Warzone, and then, bam, you got your fucking game mode. Alright, so open up this, 750. Blue bolts, racing stripes. All right, here's quickies, dude. I'm gonna need a quickie after I fucking record this. Tell you that. All right, 750. Please, Rick Toffin. What are you on about, dude? Man's on something. All right, dead eye dude drops. That's actually a pretty good name, dude. Better than dead shit daiquiri, dude. Absolutely terrible. All right, we got a Tommy gun here. Oh, you know what? That was it, dude. I'm an idiot. I just realized how there's no power switch now. Look, when I downloaded the fix for the mod file, it said fix co-op power. So I'm assuming he just took out the power switch. All right. I mean, now it all makes sense. Now it all makes sense. All right. Double points here. Double points. All right. Racing stripes. Do we go for more perks or just go straight for... Uh... Okay, also, there were full ammo there. And we have gavel. No it kind of looks weird with no like wall by. So we have ammo there. Like, should we just go straight for the end game? Because it could be pretty easy if I just save up. Since there's double tap 2.0 as well. I think it's 2.0, right? No, never mind. It's not 2.0. It's not. Oh my god, you change shoes. Why are you so fucking loud, dude? Holy shit. My lord, this man. This machine. Alright, nuke. Alright, dude, I, you know what? Treyarch needs to make it a norm when the nuke explodes, you get points for the kills, and it kills all the zombies instantly, dude. Like, it should be 100 points per zombie death, rather than fucking 400 points, bro. Alright, 10 grand. You know what? Let's hit the wheel again. Just because. Also, I want to see if there's a custom pack camo. Ooh, Osa. Alright. Oh my god, it's so loud. Alright, look, we're gonna pack a punch the FFAR here. All right, nice. Even has the animated wheels. Oh wait, can we double pack it? Okay, we can't. It says five grand again. Actually, we can save up for five grand and see if we'll take it. But I don't think it will. Also, what is this camo, my dude? It's literally the texture of the sidewalls. Also, there's a default model there. I don't know why the fuck. There's what the hell? All right, that that's a bit weird. I don't know why there's a default model. I heard a napalm spawn. I'm pretty sure. You know what I'm gonna do though? I'm gonna go buy that Tommy gun. Because that could be an easy point builder. Where the fuck was it? My dumbass can't remember. Is it in here? No. Bro, where the hell was this thing? Okay, it's right here. Nice. Yeah, so that's the game plan. Just use the Thompson and save up for the ending. But so far as a map, I'd give it like a solid like 7 out of 10 as a rating though. You have like all the infinite warfare perks in here and shit. You have a napalm zombie. You have the Pack-a-Punch from Infinite Warfare. You even have all the, like, the magic wheels and shit. 
pretty nice, man. Pretty nice. It's just if anyone's watching this and they make custom maps, can someone please add in the cloakers from Halloween Town and Payday 2 into more maps, please? Like that that would just be amazing because they're only on Halloween Town and they're such an amazing like boss enemy that I've never seen on any other map, so that'd be pretty epic if someone can add that in. I'm sure you can just rip it from uh, Halloween Town as well, right? Can you just like rip it using a external program or some shit? I completely forget. I know with model ripping you probably can, but like actual scripts. Oh my god, this man. Usually that guy like has explosive damage, so thank fuck for that. Yes, he, he turned into another default model, dude. What the fuck? All right. Freaking change shoes. All right, mule munchies. Nah, dude, I don't want any of these. I'm just gonna stay up for the ending, man. Oh, also, let's try double packing this. Okay, we cannot. So I was thinking that because you have the vials in there from the super Easter egg. God, dude, I'm not sitting in here. Fucking change shoes, dude. I'm not trying to buy your mixtape, man. Freaking LMFAO. <laughs> dude, those fucking music videos are amazing. They had a fucking lore and everything. I would like stay up all night on my iPod 4 or whatever the fuck it was with my laggy ass internet trying to listen to that shit and it would just never work, dude. It would just never fucking work. Oh my god, now we have the fucking Panzer coming in here. Man, get the fuck out of here. No one wants your health care, bro. Alright, nuke and insta-kill. Already at 20 grand here. Wish there was a... Oh, I was about to say, wish there was a viable double points, but... Here we go. Alright, dude. Please let me end the round so you can grab this. Alright, nice. Looking in really good shape here for round 13. I would have got bomb stoppers if I had like a ray gun or some shit, but there's really no need to buy all the other perks unless I want to see if there's like no perk limit. I'm gonna try to get the ending here. I will also leave this map down in the description if you guys want to play. I'm also using the official version of Black Ops 1 as well, so I don't know if the plutonium version is going to work with this map, just a heads up. This is the official uh, Steam version. Now, honestly, if I were you guys, I wouldn't even use the plutonium version unless you're playing like multiplayer. I would just use the official version because like you can use game mod and shit and it's just way easier. And you get it on sale for like $10 or whatever on a Steam sale. So it's like, just wait for that to happen and it's just super fucking easy with the DLC as well. It's all really cheap. Or just wait for the Microsoft deal because that's just might add everything to Game Pass. Who fucking knows, dude? No more $15 per fucking DLC out here. Fucking Activision, dude. <laughs> Swear to God. Alright, off to round 14. Grab some more ammo here. Uh, yeah, there's really no other perks I want, man. There's no other perks. You don't even need racing strikes. Where the hell am I gonna run, dude? It's the other side of the room. What the fuck? Maybe. Maybe I will run to the other side of the room. There we go. I ran to the other side of the room. What are you gonna do? Absolutely nothing. My lord. Alright, 30 grand though. Doing all good. Richtofen screaming in our fucking ear. Alright, Richtofen, you're definitely gay, I'm pretty sure. Cause he talks about like sho he talks about like shoving golden rods up things and shit. This man is definitely gay. Nothing wrong with that, but still, he's he's definitely fucking gay. I could I could tell ya. Okay, also double points. All right, please, dude. Richtofen, you were part of the Third Reich, and you're over here crying, bro. Calm down. All right. Round 15. Doing all good here. Uh, magic Wheel's not there. The Scar H. We have the Fortnite gun. Yeah, dude, the power switch is, like, right here, I think. It was, like, right here in the ceiling. So that's definitely where it was, but I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what the heck it was. I don't know why it was crashing. It was so weird. Maybe it was just my PC doing it. I have no fucking clue. I have no fucking clue, dude. I should honestly be camping underneath the Bible ending. Oh my god, there's a fucking Panzer now. I also really liked all the custom reticles they had for BO1. Like the double, like, three or whatever here. The double E, whatever. It's liter dude, it's literally an M&M &M logo. It has the two E's, and one of them is even backwards. It's hilarious. Never even thought of that. 
literally the M&M &M logo, except like without all the other letters, of course. Damn, Rick Toffin. Round 15 over. The Only need four more grand dead. here. Oh my god, Rick Toffin, please, man. Please, dude. Didn't even need to buy the gavel knuckles either. Really no point, unless you want to get, like, knife kills faster. For whatever reason. Oh my god, where the hell is a Tom Snap, bro? Keep losing the damn thing. It's in this room. Okay, yeah. All right, 48 grand. Good. Also, I might be live streaming the water park map soon. I think I figured out what was wrong. I'll just turn it down to like 1080p and it should be fine. I was getting like 90 frames at 1080p. So leave it down in the comments here if you guys want to see the water park map as a live stream. Because I will definitely do it if you guys want to. All right, we have 50 grand. Let's hit this. All right, end game. You survived 16 rounds. All right, that's going to be the backrooms cube. I will leave it down in the description if you guys want to play it. But if you guys made it this far, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe. And uh, I will see you guys on the next playthrough here.